Okay, everybody. I I don't normally do this. I was doing the fan cast. We just got done with the fan cast. I'm actually in the middle of editing. I'm going to do a complete screen share, uh, which I don't normally do. Um, actually, I'm going to just do the application. I think I know I have to do a screen share. I have to do a screen share. So bear with me as I uh, I'm going to turn my camera off and uh, hopefully this that's not going to work. That's not going to work. All right, so I'm going to have to do it a couple of different ways. So basically, um, this is not going to make any sense if I don't share something. So uh, we'll do uh, this. I'll do here. We'll figure out how to how to do this um, properly. So as you can see, uh, and maybe you can see it, and uh, maybe I can zoom in. So on the fan cast, on the, uh, the thumbnail right here, you can see 33% is the audience score. Now I had That's an image I took this morning uh, when I was at work. So um, what time did I send this email to myself, which you can't see? Uh, I sent it later on. But it was like 2 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But um, while we were on air and, and doing things, I looked here. This was like, I think, right before we went on the air. Um, the main thing here is you see 11,000 reviews. This is about two and a half hours ago. And then on Rotten Tomatoes now, it's 14,000 reviews. Let's, let's see if it's gone up. And now it's gone back up to 15. The score actually just went down a, a percentage point. So it climbed its way back up to 47% from 33. But uh, 47% with 14,000 views, 14,000 um, thing uh, votes. And here you can't quite make it out, but... It is 58,367. If I could share two things at once, I can't show my whole screen. I only have one screen, but it, it was 33% earlier today, 58,367. And then uh, two and a half hours ago, it was 37%. So they purged, um, fourth, well, let's see, 47,000, 47,200 and so, um, uh, ratings. Now, granted, I don't know how much I don't know how many pe these people seen it. I don't know how many people were just voting it down half a. I think you can't do anything below two. Um, and basically, they're the purging bad reviews. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes is now. Got to remember, Fandango is run by a former who owns Rotten Tomatoes is uh, run by a former Disney executive. So this is not surprising at all. This is Disney again uh, not liking the audience, and we're just going to shame the audience. But to me, I think Rotten Tomatoes is done. Uh, they are completely done. They are buying these. And then they're stifling these. And um, even this has gone down since this morning. Um, it says 79. Ah. That it was 81% this morning as my dogs are barking. But I just I just had to do some kind of live stream about this. Um, this is incredible. This is really, they are purging negative reviews. And granted, I don't know how much of it's real as far as negative reviews. I have not seen the movie. I'm not going to see the movie. I don't care about the MCU that much. Um, most people that I know who have seen it, who are huge MCU fans for whom uh, either Ant-Man or Black Panther was the worst MCU movie. Uh, some say Iron Man 3, some say Iron Man 2, some say Thor 2. Some people don't like, I mean, I liked Ragnarok. I've not seen uh, Age of Ultron. Um, to, for me, I've not seen any of the Ant-Man movies either. I've not seen Black Panther. I really don't care to. i just seen kind of the mainstream MCU movies uh, with a few exceptions. I like I liked Ragnarok. Uh, yes, I will fully agree that uh, Thor was out of character. I got halfway through Guardians of the Galaxy on Netflix and turned it off because it was boring. Um, so... Uh, I considering I've I have basically fallen asleep, uh, practically fell asleep on Infinity Infinity War. Um, just about fell asleep during the Civil War it was horrible to me. This movie would bore me. I'd probably be asleep completely. It'd be in a coma. But uh, but anyway, this is very telling. Uh, this is all the bot nonsense. Is that they're trying to up this uh, score and they're getting it there slowly. And I, I just and uh, accidentally made that smaller with my mouse. But this has even gone down again, even with another thousand. So people are getting back on, putting them in as low a ratings as they can. I know several people have reported that they've tried to put in one and one and a half star ratings that will not save. And uh, some of them, when they've tried to do two, it'll save and then disappear immediately. This is ridiculous. This is um, this is basically what Disney has declared war on the audience, and they're not going to accept your uh, disapproval. Uh, but really, this is not where you need to speak. Where you need to speak is not going to the movies. Um, this is one thing. This is These are bought and paid for by, for the most part, but this is dropping. And if you look at the stuff behind it, overall, and this has gone down now too. This was 68.9, now it's 
um, as far as a percentage. So that's what's real rating is a below a seven. This is basically people saying, yes, or it's fresh. No, or no, it's not. This is calculated very differently than this number, but that's the truth. But that uh, a 78%, a 68% is getting closer to uh, the 46%, 47%. I don't know what this is going to be, but this is going to really irritate people that their reviews are being, even if people are just bombing this, but this is ridiculous. So we saw this with The Last Jedi. We saw a little bit with Solo, and now Disney is really ramping it up for Captain Marvel. Um, this site is done. Uh, this this is going to be done, and the people are not going to um, believe anything they, they see here now because they know that when they speak out, they will be uh, ostracized. And uh, so Disney is really, really, really cutting themselves off from the audience. Um, this might get reflected in Endgame. There may be enough people who are fed up with this that even though they're 11 years invested in the MCU, they're not going to go to Endgame. They'll see it later on, or they'll see it, or they'll buy a ticket to something else uh, during a non-busy time and then watch it so that Marvel and Disney does not get the money. But this is not going to go well. This is really, really bad on Disney's part. And I think Rotten Tomatoes as a site is done. This will be this will be relegated to the backwaters of the internet very shortly, and people will not visit and they will not give a crap. So I mean, there's there's two and a half hours difference, and then it was thirty three percent this morning. And uh, I know some other people have done videos on it. I saw some of that's like I had to get on here and just do something because I did. And let me see if I can share. Um, so let me stop sharing that. Let me so let me see quickly if uh, I can uh, show you. Doo, doo, doo. It's not showing up. My email is not showing up as an option. I don't know why. Library fancast uh, sound library library live events. That email's not showing up. I don't know why. But um, but there you go. So uh, I'm going to get back to editing the fancast for Bitshoot because we do something a little bit special there. And uh, But this is just unbelievable that Disney is really, really, really declaring war on the fans. If you do not accept their crap, they are going, they do not, they don't want you. So don't show up, all right? Uh, make them sh uh, pay, pain or the wallet. That's the only way Disney and uh, Bob Iger is the one leading this. He's 100% responsible. He wants to IP everything on uh, that Disney owns. Everything in the parks is going to be IP'd. Uh, you're going to see some old attractions disappear or get rebranded, most likely disappear. Um, he is really uh, bad for Disney. And, I, you know, this is Disney is not too big to fail. And the government better not bail them out when they go bankrupt because that's where they're headed. All right. Thank you very much. And we'll see you. Bye.